Number five, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry base, and then we have letter C. So in this case, we just have to write a net ionic equation explaining that ammonia, which is NH3, maybe I'll just put that here. This is your cleaning detergent, that lovely smell. Ammonia, NH3, is a bronsted Lowry base. Now back in the day, there was two scientists, Bronsted and Lowry, who both came up with the same idea, and they did not know about each other. It was independent. Crazy. But anyway, these two scientists came up with the idea of acids and bases, and in terms of a base, bases will always accept hydronium ions, which is H+. So anytime that you see a compound accepting an H+, it's always going to be a base. Now, in this case, we just have to show that NH3 is accepting that H+. And we write that by showing them on one side of the equation, right? The base plus the H+, they're coming together. The base is accepting that hydronium, the H+. So let's write that out. NH3 plus H+. Plus. And any time that you see a charged uh, ion with the net ionic equation, it's always going to be aqueous. And since we're dealing with um, acids and bases, we're going to assume that NH3 is also an aqueous as well. Generally speaking, acids and bases are going to be AQ. So this is not the gas uh, type. Now, since I, I uh, know that NH3 is not one of my six strong acids and bases, or, you know, in this case, base. So NH3 is not one of my six strong bases, which I highly recommend you guys memorize because we're going to need it for upcoming in this chapter. Since it's not part of the six, I'm going to write the equilibrium symbol. And now all I got to do is just bring all of the elements together. So I'm adding one hydrogen to my compound. So I had the nitrogen. And then in the beginning, I had three hydrogens, but since I'm adding one more, I now have four. So that's the first part. You gain one hydrogen, and now all you gotta do is just plus one to the total charge. My base had a zero charge, right? There was nothing in the upper right-hand corner. So I come over here now. It was originally zero plus one. Zero plus one is plus one. Or you could just write a plus. That's fine with me. And you guys should say, hey, wait a minute. I know this polyatomic. That's ammonium. Yeah. So sometimes if you could spot out the polyatomic, just put the charge. That's why we like to memorize polyatomics, because it does make it that much easier. And this is also aqueous as well. And that's it. You're done. Pretty cool, right, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.